Ever wondered how to bridge the communication gap in software development teams? Follow Behavior Driven Development, or BDD. This software development approach originated from the need for better communication and understanding among project stakeholders, is all about focusing on the behavior of an application rather than just the technical aspects. It focuses on the collaboration between developers, QA, quality assurance professionals, and non-technical or business participants in a software project. BDD has emerged from test-driven development, TDD, and acceptance test-driven development, ATD, with a key difference. It prioritizes behavior or the business outcomes over code. Traditional development methodologies often create a barrier between the developers, the testers, and the business stakeholders. BDD, on the other hand, uses a consistent ubiquitous language that is well understood by all stakeholders, making it a truly collaborative approach. It's like a universal translator for software development, helping everyone on the team understand the project's goals and how to achieve them. BDD revolves around the idea of specifying the behavior of a software feature through conversation and concrete examples. BDD, therefore, is a game changer, making software development more efficient and effective. Now, let's delve into why BDD is crucial in today's software development landscape. The creation of software is a complex process involving a diverse team of developers, testers, and business stakeholders. Metaphorically speaking, each group speaks its own language. This can lead to misunderstandings, misinterpretations, and ultimately, mistakes. Developers may be focused on the technical aspects, while business stakeholders are concerned with the end user's experience. Testers, on the other hand, are trying to ensure that the software works as expected. This disconnect can result in a final product that doesn't meet the needs of the end user, or even worse, full of bugs and glitches. That's where behavior-driven development, or BDD, steps in. It provides a shared understanding that helps everyone on the team see eye to eye. BDD relies heavily on the use of examples to clarify and specify how a feature should behave under different circumstances. This is known as specification by examples. These examples are then converted into automated tests which guide the development process. BDD places a strong emphasis on collaboration and continuous communication among team members. Regular discussions among developers, testers and business stakeholders help in clarifying requirements and ensuring that everyone has a shared understanding of the project goals. So BDD comes to the rescue, bridging the communication gap and enhancing understanding among team members. BDD isn't just a buzzword, it brings tangible benefits to the table. Let's delve into how BDD reshapes the software development landscape. At its core, BDD fosters collaboration. It's less about writing code and more about understanding, discussing and agreeing on what the software should do. This clear communication reduces misunderstandings, streamlines the development process and ultimately saves precious time. But the benefits of BDD don't stop there. BDD aims to create software that not only works technically but also meets the business needs and expectations. By focusing on the behavior of the software, BDD inherently keeps the user at the center of the development process. This leads to software that's more reliable and better tailored to user needs, which in turn enhances user satisfaction. Moreover, BDD can significantly improve quality assurance. With its emphasis on scenario-based testing, bugs are caught and fixed earlier, reducing the chances of costly fixes down the line. In summary, BDD can reduce development time by improving the initial understanding of requirements, aligning development efforts closely with business needs, automating testing, and facilitating better communication and collaboration within the team. You might be wondering, how does BDD compare to test-driven development or TDD? Let's find out. Test-driven development is a software development technique where developers first write failing tests, then build functionality to pass those tests. It's like laying down the tracks for the software train to follow. Now enter behavior-driven development. BDD, in contrast, starts by defining the desired behavior from the user's perspective. It's more about the journey of the train rather than the tracks. BDD and TDD differ in scope and focus. TDD is more technical, revolving around how the code should function. BDD, on the other hand, emphasizes the user experience and business outcomes. Think of TD as building a car engine. 
while BDD is about making sure the car gets you from point A to point B smoothly. While TD is a powerful tool, BDD takes it a step further, focusing on the behavior and experience of the user. So, how do we write BDD scenarios? Let's dive in. First, let's understand what user stories and acceptance criteria are in the context of behavior-driven development, or BDD. A user story is a simple description of a software feature from the perspective of the end user. It follows the template. As a user role, I want an action so that benefit value. The acceptance criteria, on the other hand, are conditions that a software product must satisfy to be accepted by a user, customer, or in the case of system-level functionality, the consuming system. Now let's talk about the given when then format. This is a style of writing test that lends itself well to BDD. It's a structured way of describing a scenario. Given sets up the context, when describes the action, and then outlines the expected outcome or result. How do you write effective BDD scenarios then? Here are a few tips. Keep it simple and clear. Avoid technical jargon. Focus on the behavior and the result, not how the feature is implemented. Make sure your scenario is testable. And remember, it's not about covering every possible angle. It's about illustrating the behavior. Let's look at an example. A poorly written scenario might be, given the user has logged in when they click on the add to cart button, then the item is added to the cart. This scenario is vague and doesn't give much insight into what the user is doing or why. A better scenario would be, given a user has browsed for items and found a book they want to buy, when they click on the add to cart button, then the book is added to their shopping cart and they can proceed to checkout. This scenario is clear, explains the user's motivations and what they're trying to achieve. Remember, a well-written BDD scenario is the first step towards a successful software development project. With BDD, you're not just coding, you're creating a masterpiece that truly meets users' needs and business objectives. Clearer requirements mean developers spend less time deciphering what needs to be built and more time on actual development. It allows for early identification and resolution of misunderstandings or misalignments with business objectives. This proactive approach can prevent costly rework or changes late in the development process. BDD fits well with agile methodologies, which advocate for iterative and incremental development. BDD integrates testing from the very beginning. The acceptance criteria defined in the user stories are converted into automated tests. These automated tests serve as a living documentation and a guide for development, ensuring that each feature meets the desired criteria right from the start. This can significantly reduce the time spent on manual testing and debugging later. BDD's emphasis on user stories and scenarios that describe real-world use ensures that development efforts are always aligned with delivering user value. This focus helps in prioritizing features and avoiding over-engineering or spending time on less important aspects of the system. So what have we learned about behavior-driven development today? We've unpacked the concept of BDD, illuminating its origins and how it stands apart from traditional development approaches. We've examined the unique challenges in software development that BDD addresses, particularly the communication gap between developers, testers, and business stakeholders. We've explored the substantial benefits of BDD, such as improving collaboration and understanding within your team, and how it can guide more reliable, user-focused software development. We've compared BDD to TDD, highlighting their differences in scope, focus, and outcomes. We've given you guidelines for when to use BDD versus TDD, and delved into the art of writing effective BDD scenarios. We've looked at the role of user stories and acceptance criteria within BDD, and the importance of the given when then format. BDD isn't just a methodology, it's a mindset that prioritizes communication, collaboration, and user experience. So why not give it a try in your next project?